The struggle against climate change means we need more renewable energy. How come up with new ways of generating and storing energy? Team Catalyst Supreme develops a catalyst which will turn the chemical industry inside out. Please welcome Tanja Kallio. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tanja Kallio from Team Catalyst Supreme. And I would like you to focus your thought on energy and chemistry for the next few minutes. We all need energy for our everyday life. We need it for cooking, cleaning, lightning, and this energy should be produced in a reliable, clean and safe manner. This is the reason why renewable energy technologies have become more and more popular in recent years. And actually, the number of windmills in start has been increasing exponentially. They have been, the number of windmills has increased so much that nowadays governments are forced to pay for the windmills to be shut down during the peak production periods. Because all the produced clean energy cannot be used. And, for example, in Scotland, the UK government has paid one million pounds just for one day to shut down the windmills. In one year, this has, they have paid in total some 50 million pounds just to switch off windmills. This money could be used in a more reasonable manner. It could be used for investing investments in technologies enabling energy storage so that we can use the clean energy when the wind is not blowing. Nowadays, we, for example, have batteries which enable conversion of excess electrical energy in the form of chemical bond energy. And it can be converted back to electricity when the wind is not blowing. The problem with batteries is that when the number of windmills is increasing, you have to also increase the number of batteries and you end up having huge piles of batteries. And making batteries consumes energy and it consumes critical raw materials. Actually, a group of scientists from Stanford have calculated that it will be never profitable to store energy in batteries. So we have invented a solution for this. We have a new catalyst material which enables efficient conversion of electrical energy in the form of hydrogen bond energy. Hydrogen, hydrogen can be stored and converted back to the electricity, or it can be used as a raw material by chemical industry. And what is great also is our government is committed to watch the transition to hydrogen economy. Never recent decision. This, of course, means that the technology already exists. We do have electrolysis enabling the energy hydrogen conversion. What can our team then offer? We can offer a more cost-efficient and sustainable method for this conversion. So, one of our colleagues, uh, or Collaborators actually is an European SME making electrolyzers or these devices enabling the energy hydrogen conversion. They are paying every month 25,000 euros on catalyst materials. And this number is increasing because the number of the electrolyzers they are building is increasing. On the other hand, the global catalyst markets are roughly 16 billion euros. And how much catalyst raw materials one can get with 100 euros? You can get three grams of platinum, which is a popular catalyst material also used in electrolysis. Or you can get 2,000 kilograms of iron, so a million times more of iron, which is one of the main components of our catalyst material. The problem with platinum is not only the price, but it's also a scarce material 
and the platinum reserve cannot cover the forestry need. So we, so we need more sustainable alternatives, such as our catalyst material. And we have not, not, we have not only invented a great catalyst material, but also a unique method to synthesize it. This one step synthesis method has a good efficiency also. And by tailoring the synthesis method, we can make a catalyst materials which enable also other interesting chemical reactions than this energy hydrogen conversion. We have a great team behind of this invention consisting of uh, scientists, uh, competent scientists and SMEs with know-how on upscaling of synthesis methods, as well as uh, specialists on chemical industry, bioeconomy and re uh, circular economy. And together we think that we are able to find new applications and new modifications of our material which are useful. So we think that our material is just emerging and its story is just beginning. And if you are as interested of our material as we are, we hope that you come to talk to us. Thank you.